my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series on mastering the basics of the MySona embroidery software. If you're interested in finding out more about it, digital embroidery or perhaps you are a subscriber or own a copy of MySonet embroidery, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future films. In this video, I'm going to be talking you through the basic layout of the main screen in MySona Embroidery. So you'll be able to see we've got a hoop here and it's showing a workspace and we have an embroidery in here. What I'm now going to do is talk you through what's going on with the various uh, panels and buttons around the screen. So. At the moment, I'm on the Home tab. The Home tab is probably one of the most important places that you'll be going because a lot of the very basic tools like um, cutting and pasting tools, selection tools, grouping tools um, and uh, layout tools are all in this part of the software. If I click on File, that's going to take me back to the welcome screen where I can access the wizards but more importantly there's the export button if I need to export onto a USB stick and the configure button if for instance I want to change my settings in some way and I can always go back from this by clicking on the little arrow up here. So let's talk about some of these other tabs. The create tab again allows you to access the wizards. The Encore tab is a feature that allows you to take an embroidery and build sort of repeat patterns with it. The Letter tab is fairly self-explanatory. That's where you go if you need to do something with lettering. And there is a film in the series about how to use lettering. The next tab is Super Designs. And again, there's a film in the series where I'll explain how to use Super Designs, as well as another film where I'm going to talk about frames and flourishes. There's an applique tab if you want to uh, build appliques or change applique fabrics in your design. The embellish tab allows you to digitize for the uh, ribbon or embellishment attachments or you can also um, digitize for placement marker stitches if you're using sequins or hot fi fixed crystals. The modify tab, let me just click on this but uh, this design here uh, the modify tab allows you to do some very quite technically advanced aspects where you can uh, change very specific stitches um, uh, so that's something that maybe you might not uh, be working too much with until you're a bit more confident and the view tab allows you to use the background wizard so for instance if you wanted to see your embroidery design on a garment or uh, perhaps a quilt fabric, that's where you go for that. And again, most importantly, last but not least, there's a help tab. And if I click on this button here, that will open up the help online manuals for me. I'm just going to go back to the home tab. OK, uh, just over on here, we've got the life view and design player. Those are two buttons that I use an awful lot when I'm digitizing. And you might have noticed up here at the very top, they're also featured. Along the top are sort of shortcuts. Um, and two buttons that you might use an awful lot is the undo one and the redo. Because uh, if you've made a mistake, you go, oops. If you click undo, it will take you back a stage. Um, and maybe if you change your mind and then want to do redo, you can hit that button. So those are two quite useful. There's a change hoop over here, button here, as well as on here. And this is telling me at the moment that my hoop size, um, I'm on the 260 by 200. If I need to change my hoop, I can do that. So let's talk about what's going on over here. This is the design panel. So this is always on. 
the uh, right hand side of the screen and this has lots of kind of technical information so at the moment because I have the bell design uh, selected this is telling me that uh, the stitch count is about two and a half thousand stitches and it's also giving me the height it's around 40 mil uh, square not quite totally square um, and it's telling me as well that there are five color changes now down here I can see those very specific colors and for instance if I wanted to change one of these I could double click on it so let's say I wanted to change that uh, uh, that pink banding on here um, uh, when you click on it when you select it it will go yellow but for instance that will open the color selection box I'm not going to get involved in that today um, uh, but there is a film about working with color and the color selection box in the series I'm just going to click cancel there's a box here um, where you can make notes if necessary and down here is the clipboard and that's a great useful feature so you can see from here I've built this design by copying and pasting one of these candy canes and that's still on my clipboard down here are um, basically it's to do with the viewing and zooming in so for instance let's say I want a closer look at um, those bells if I click on the zoom to rectangle Oh goodness me uh, let me just do that I can then actually draw a box around the area that I want to zoom in and straight away I've done that an alternative is actually to use the slider where I could actually zoom in even more or indeed zoom out and then if I if I want to actually zoom out properly and see the whole hoop if I click zoom to fit that's taking me back that's a very useful set of tools down there and then let's talk about what's going on over on this side on the left hand side this here is called the film strip and this is a new addition to the MySona embroidery software um, and I think it's great in the past it was only avail available if a, a digitizing module and it's a really useful tool um, and again there will be a film in the series where I'm talking very specifically on how to use the film strip but to start off with let me show you let me explain what the film strip does so you can see here we've got a number of stages and basically the film strip is showing the order that those stages are um, that will be stitched out in the machine and for instance it might be you say well I can't see where this phrase Merry Christmas is Karina where is it I, it, I it's not visible on the actual design and that's because stage number two is an applique so what would actually happen if you sent this to your machine is the machine would stitch out the lettering but then it would cover it up with the applique so what we actually need to do is say to the machine well actually we need the applique first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag that I've changed the order of that and now you can see that with the correct order what would actually happen is the machine would put the applique down and then it would stitch that letter in and that's a great useful tool and finally one of the most important things about the software is that actually it's set up to help you understand what buttons do if I put my cursor over any aspect any button that perhaps I'm not sure what it's saying that a dialog box will actually open and it will tell me what that does so you don't need to remember every single thing that I've said just if you're not sure put your cursor over that thing and read what the dialog box says it'll explain it for you so I hope you found this a useful film into the layout of the main screen of the MySona embroidery software. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us help you master the basics of MySona embroidery. Happy sewing!